I've talked about artificial fragrances before, but I wanted to go into more detail about something. Some people have asked me why I think it's a big deal that we use, we collectively as a society, use so many products that have such strong artificial fragrances that it's enough to be several magnitudes stronger than the smell of, raw, of human waste in raw sewage. I can smell raw sewage way before most other people. And it's not the human waste that I smell, it is all these products. It's this conglomeration of all the detergents, fabric softeners, colognes, soaps, all these products that we use that are so heavily scented. And over the past 10 years, the amount of fragrance, the strength of the fragrance that is put into products has increased exponentially. It's at least doubled what it was just 10 years ago. And nobody seems to mind. Because, oh, it smells good. Well, the problem this is creating is people are living in unhealthy conditions. Horridly unhealthy conditions, and they don't realize it because they've got all, oh, look, I've got Febreze in my Glade plug-ins. Instead of actually cleaning the house, getting rid of the mildew, getting rid of the mold, getting rid of the smell of, of food that's rotted, um, they'll just cover it up with something. Or they'll just do a, a really lame cleaning and then cover up the rest with something. This is not good. This is not good for us. For me, I, the most offensive smell in raw sewage ends up being the products more than the smell of human waste. The smell of human waste is foul, nasty, I don't want to be around it. But the smell of those products, I, I want to be around even less. And there are people who use so much of these products that sometimes people smell like raw sewage. <laughs> you know, minus the smell of the human waste. I mean, they use so much, it's the, that same combo. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like how nasty restaurant dumpster swill is, except it's instead of being a swill of, of rotted food, it's the swill of all these products. Now there was a time where I would say that, oh well, this is this stuff, they'll probably find out sometime that it'll cause cancer or cause this problem or that problem. I'm not necessarily so sure about that. But I do know that it lets people uh, ignore things that are unhealthy. So... Now, some people might call me a hypocrite in that area because, you know, I have the nickname I have for a reason because I generally don't do anything with my pits. But that hasn't been known to cause anyone any issues before. You know, you want, you want some clean hands. You want a clean ass. Um, but most other things aren't really... Having some scent like that is not a sign of bad health. So...
didn't seem like a very long train, so I just kept recording. Um, but something that's irritating, something that, that goes into this picture of why I have this negative view of this, okay? In Tacoma, we have a lot of parks. We do. And any of the ones that are left even remotely natural, generally, at some point in that park, you smell raw sewage. My hypothesis as to why this is the case is I think most of the parks in Tacoma are parks and got designated as parks because there was a sewage problem and it would cost too much to fix. So let's just turn it into a park instead and nobody will notice. Sometimes I'll even see in, like if there's some water at it, I'll see some nasty film over the water. And you go to smell that water, and what do you know? You smell all those products. You smell the products. That's messed. That's messed up. Um, So to me, if there's something that is unhealthy, you've got mold, you've got rotting food, you clean it up. Clean it up, don't cover it up. That's my viewpoint on this.